Mr Underbed by Chris Riddle One night, just as Jim was dozing off, the bed springs creaked. The mattress shook. A head poked out from under Jim's bed. Hello, it said. I'm Mr Underbed. Hello, replied Jim. I'm Jim. It's very uncomfortable sleeping on the floor under your bed every night. Do you mind if I join you? asked Mr Underbed politely. Not at all, said Jim. Mr Underbed fell asleep in no time, but his snoring kept Jim wide awake. Jim went to the chest of drawers to get his earmuffs. But when he opened the drawer, two heads popped up. Hello, they said. We're the top drawer twins, Crinkle and Crumple. Hello, answered Jim. You don't mind, do you? asked Crinkle. Only it's very cramped in your drawer, explained Crumple as they jumped into Jim's bed. Crinkle and Crumple fell asleep almost immediately, but they pinched all the bedclothes and Jim was too cold to go to sleep. So Jim went to the wardrobe to get his dressing gown. But when he opened the wardrobe door, yet another head popped out. Hello, it called. I'm Wedgie the Wardrobe Hound. Oh no, said Jim. I suppose you want to sleep in my bed too, said Jim. That's very kind of you, replied Wedgie. I'm going to get to the bottom of this, Jim muttered to himself. Jim went right round his room, opening his toy trunk, his cupboards, his drawers, looking behind his curtains and under his chair. And out of all these places, more heads came popping up. Tiny and Tubby Bear marched out of the cupboard. Saggy and Squeak were under the chair. Hooter the elephant and his friends, Swish and Sniffer, peeped round the curtains. And out came Bumble the middle draw dog, Pinky the bedside table rabbit, Grimble, Grumble and Groan, the toy trunk triplets, Wid the bottom drawer mite, and last but not least, Little Willy Glownose from the lampshade. I give up, said Jim. Everybody can sleep in my bed tonight. And so they did. Good night, they called, and quickly fell asleep. Jim was quite tired after opening all those cupboards and drawers, and so he curled up on the floor and was soon fast asleep. Wake up, Jim, called his mother in the morning. Why are you sleeping on the floor? It just seemed more comfortable than my bed last night, said Jim with a smile. Thank you.